Fitness with Digimon. Look at that packaging, Bandai Premium. It makes me not want to open this. This part I love the most. It shows what comes in the box, but then also look at that. Look at that Pulsemon Retro Sprite. We're currently doing a playthrough on the anniversary dim, which I got previously. Waiting for the next evolution and try unlock the Pulsemon line on the dim card, which I'm super excited to finally see Pulsemon in Retro Sprite form. Let's get on with it. That looks epic. Thank you for always supporting Digimon. Always, you know when it's Kenji. I remember with the DM20, you got a similar kind of thing done by Kenji as well. Got so many of these now. I'm gonna leave in the packages. Comes with two of these guys, which is pretty cool. You can put one on here to screw it, unscrew and stuff, so. I think it looks pretty nice. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really too fond on the, the transparent stuff, mainly because of these numbers at the bottom here. I just think it looks a bit tacky. We've got the anniversary dim with this as well. So let's get this started. So that's all on and set up. I've done another video, which I'll put the link in the description below, which is the unboxing of this. this pretty thorough video i went through a lot of things what's new on it i'll mention it in this as well that this can store up to four digimon one on screen and three in your storage obviously there's other characters as well which also can be stored in this even though this one comes with the digimon bands it's still a be like this be so any of the characters dim cards that are going to be released or already released can go into here as well basically a be with a digimon casing I might also put this on. Most people would know how to put this on. Put this one on to this one here. This is your normal screwdriver. You got one screw there and one screw there. It would snap off. There, these little black parts here. Make sure you take these little black inserts out because they'll be going into the other band. looks like the same as the other design i haven't opened it up fully but i've seen some pictures it looks very similar inside and that's it and now you just have to screw these bits back in and you're done nice the gray is definitely my favorite there's something about this brown that's just not clicking with me well. So for the video, I will insert the DIM code. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go too in depth with this because I've already done a video of unboxing and what's new on this. So I'll put that link in the description below. So just click that link if you want to know more about the BE. But yeah, this one will see go back into my collection nicely. I'll put it back in the box. I'll turn it off. And I'm still going to be using the, the VV with the Digimon casing. So I want to have a quick talk about should you buy the 25th anniversary vital bracelet. It'll mostly be scalped now if you do find someone selling it. You might find someone in a Discord server selling it at a decent price. The question is, is it worth getting this? Or should you just get the normal retail edition? Like the, the BE, VV or that other one, the Hero Academia one. And I think you should just go for the Amazon one. Because they sell the 25th anniversary dim separate. Isn't, this one is not a premium exclusive. What's the exclusive about the premium on this one is the casing and this Kenji drawing. I don't think it's worth getting scalped to buy this unless you're a collector like me and you miss the pre-orders on this and the only way for you to get it is at a higher price. If you just want it as your device, I'll just get the one from Amazon. That's just the same thing, the exact same thing as this. And if you want the anniversary dim, I'll put a link in the description below for the BE and the anniversary dim. Try get it now while it's still in stock because once that goes out of stock, the scalpers will be all over that. 
I understand if you're paying high price for an older device, paying maybe 100 or 80 or whatever you're paying for it. But for a new device and you're gonna end up paying a stupid amount just to get like the dim cards or the device itself, I don't think it's worth it because it's a brand new device. It doesn't have no retro value to it. Like I said, recommendation, buy it off Amazon if you're just using it as a device. If you're a collector, that's all up to you. But my, this is my recommendation because this one will be scalped now. Okay, that's uh, all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to get a bit more in depth about the BE, check out my other video. That's the link in the description below. And yeah, as always, stay digital. Bye. Digital World Order.